hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to my channel so this video we're gonna talk about ios 14.2 and probably the expected release date of ios 14.3 so yeah uh, i've not been uploading many videos in recent days due to some personal issues but i'll make sure that i keep on uploading videos every week so thanks for staying with me guys and also let's just start the video and in this video we're gonna talk about ios 14.2 how has been the battery performance and what are the exact issues i was able to notice with ios 14.2 after using ios 14.2 for more than two weeks and when we can expect ios 14.3 for that matter so all of this i'm gonna cover in this video so if you're interested keep on watching this video and also if you're new here on my channel give this video a thumbs up and also do subscribe to the channel as well that gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos and with that being said let's get right into the video So right guys, so first things first, this is an iPhone XR, so this is my personal device. This looks actually amazing, so this glass bag. I'm using this device without a cover nowadays. So you know, it's it's been almost two years I am using this device and it's, it's each day that I fall in love with this device, that's iPhone XR. So I still love the device, it's two years old now, iPhone 12 has launched and many a devices has come, but still I love my iPhone XR. So you know, I just wanted to say that before going straight into the topic I love my phone and with that being said let's jump right into the topic so yeah so let me go to the settings and let me first show you the general that I'm running iOS 14.2 as you can see this is iOS 14.2 and I'm not using any beta profile so how has been the battery life so first things first many of you are mostly having uh, genuine queries about the battery life because most of you play games most of you do use your phone heavily on day-to-day -day basis so I'll Always I tell you people that the battery life is something that would vary from person to person that would vary from user to user in my case case I have been using my uh, device you know seven to eight hours mostly I have been getting a screen on time of eight to nine hours so initially when iOS 14.2 came out to public uh, I was not very happy with the battery life because iOS 14.1 if you remember I have said this a lot of times on my previous videos that that was the best update in terms of battery life so when iOS 14.2 came out I was not really happy with the kind of performance that uh, you know the kind of battery performance that i was getting with my iphone 10 but then again gradually it improved also in my previous videos i talked about the network reception issues but it seems like after using this you know ios 14.2 after two weeks you know the network reception issue is still there but it's a lot less than what i expected and what i was facing initially once i got ios 14.2 update so that's regarding the issues and apart from that uh, since I started using this uh, device without a case now so now all the all the all the buttons here are very tactile and also surprisingly I, I say that that I mentioned one more issues regarding the uh, volume down button so without even touching the volume down button key so the volume was changing abruptly so while you are using any application or normally using your phone so I'm not able to see that issue anymore so let me know what are the issues that you are able to see on your iOS 14.2 and also many of you have commented on my previous videos that when iOS 14.3 will come now see nowadays seeing the recent Apple behavior they they, they can you know launch iOS 14.3 uh, definitely before before December uh, mid so we are expecting kind of iOS 14.3 for all the public users to mid 15th of December or before that so definitely we're gonna get to see a new update with iOS 14.3 a lot of new things are gonna come and also if you're having iPhone 12 then you're gonna or 12 Pro 12 from Max you're gonna get that iOS you know Apple Pro raw feature that would improve your photo and video quality and also if you guys are running on iOS 14.2 and stable version and if you want to you know just to experience how the is 14.2 you can you know enroll your phone for beta so how do you do that you go to safari and you go to beta.apple.com you enroll your device and you simply download this profile so it's very easy i have i have said this before on my videos that once you're on beta profile so once you go to settings and then you know 
it would be automatically notified you would be automatically notified here one profile is downloaded so once you are on beta so you can enjoy the beta updates and not to worry guys you can remove your beta profile anytime you want from your phone so once you remove your beta profile you would be back to normal and once apple pushes ios 14.3 or 14.4 or whatever the future of this you're gonna get it so no worries if you are on beta you can go back to stable and also if you're on stable if you want to try out the beta updates then go to you know beta.apple.com depending on your device install the profile and then you can enjoy the beta updates so that's all i wanted to you know talk to you guys in general and when the ios 14.3 is gonna come and about the performance and also the battery performance of this ios 14 point so that's what i was about to cover in this video so let me know how do you like the video and what and all the topics that you want me to make videos on so then again i hope you enjoyed this short video if you do enjoy the videos then give this video a thumbs up and also it means a lot if you do subscribe to the channel so with that being said i will see you on my next video bye